Hello, and thank you for joining me this afternoon uh, for this session. My name is Philippe. I'm the uh, program manager for Modern Languages. And today, in today's presentation, I will give an overview of our Modern Languages program. I will explain how to choose the right course and level. I will also confirm how courses will be taught in the autumn. And myself and my colleague Christina will be available. Um, Christina will be available during the session to answer your questions on the ch in the chat room. So basically, whether you use a laptop, uh, an iPad, or um, or a phone, normally in your laptop it's located at the bottom of the screen. It's got this little bubble uh, symbol, speech bubble symbol. And uh, if you have an iPad or a phone, it's normally in the three dot section located, I believe, bottom right or top right of your screen. So during the presentation, if you have any questions, you can pop them in the chat box. Uh, and uh, Christy and I will be answering them as we go along. And as I'm making my presentation, I need to let people in. So there may be the odd, um, the odd uh, bell. Uh, uh, ringing while I do my presentation. Um, and at the end, we'll also be taking additional questions. I'll stay behind at the end, but also you'll have the opportunity to contact me at my work email address should you have more questions, whether it's this weekend or early next week, I'll be answering all your questions. So first of all, um, if I tell you a little bit more about our modern languages program, for those of you who've never come to Richmond and Hillcroft Adult Community College, we have an extensive program of languages. We, we're a team of 20 qualified experienced linguists offering, uh, as I said, an extensive range of courses in eight different languages. Uh, what I mean by experienced linguists, we all native speakers or near native speakers. And we have a range of secondary school teachers adult education teachers like myself with experience of the secondary sector and also six form colleges. And we also have university teachers. Um, now, if I give you a little bit more information on our main languages first, well, we have a range of eight different languages. Um, levels, uh, we do not offer, offer all the levels per language because some languages may have more demand than others. So if I start in alphabetical order by French, uh, we offer a range from beginners to advanced conversation and grammar. So we have in French um, nine different levels. In German, we do beginners to intermediate conversation, which is the equivalent of five different levels. In Greek, we have a year four course, but also a new beginners starting in September. Uh, in Italian, more or less the same provision as French, we do again courses from beginners to advanced conversation. In Japanese, we'll be offering in September four different levels of Japanese, which is the first time for quite some time. So that's, that's something really proud of. And that shows obviously there's a, there's a demand for that language. Um, Polish is something we're relaunching in September because we feel there's, there's, there is demand and one of our French teachers is also a bilingual Polish French speaker. So she's very keen to start that course. So we do hope we have some interest in that course. Um, in Russian, we run three different levels from, from beginners to uh, intermediate. In Spanish, quite similar again to Italian and French, we have a wide range of courses from beginners to advanced. And of course, in modern languages, we also look after British Sign Language, which obviously is aimed more at people who want to use British Sign Language, whether it's for uh, family or sometimes careers, whether you work for the police, uh, for the NHS, or whether you're teaching assistant in a school. Uh, we have two levels of courses in British Sign Language. We have a Brit uh, an introduction course for people who have never learned uh, British Sign Language before and a level one qualification. So the level one qualification prepares learners for a qualification which is recognized in schools and other fields of work. 
but but to be able to do the level one qualification, you need to have completed first an introduction course. So this is something I wanted to highlight in case you wish to know more about British Sign Language. Um, now, obviously, um, on our website, there's a level chart which sort of um, gives you more details on what each level expect it, what, what's expected from each level sorry uh, for example um, beginners courses are split into um, two parts year one stage one year one stage two um, and really this is for either total beginners year one stage one so if you've never done the language before this is the level to go for if you've done the equivalent maybe of six month course and you can structure a simple sentence and possibly have started to learn the present tense and other essential topics to get by, but you still don't feel too confident, this is often the uh, level we recommend. And we have a year one stage two courses starting in September, um, particularly in French, in Spanish, in Italian and in German. Uh, when we reach year two, it means we've done the equivalent of 60 hours of contact time with the teacher. And by then you should have started to um, work a little bit on past tenses, future tenses, but not just that, you know, um, 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 a wider range of more practical uh, subjects. Between year two, stage one and year two, stage two, in the stage two uh, part, we focus more on making your past and future tenses more accurate. And so that gradually you're getting more and more confident at using them. In year three and year four, this is what we call low intermediate intermediate level. This is often quite a tricky level because people have been with you know, learning the language for some time, they're really keen to move further. And this is when quite a lot of work is needed to reinforce, to practice really all the key structures to make you feel confident to move to the conversation level, which, which is always what people really want to achieve as quickly as possible. But this is obviously the most challenging part of the learning. Um, and, and of course, when you learn a language in, 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 a, in the country where the language is spoken, you have many more opportunities to practice in and outside lessons. So really the intermediate level requires more work on the key structures. Year five onwards, we start to work on conversation. And um, in the main four languages, German, French, Spanish and Italian, we have intermediate conversation classes. When you learn how to uh, be more confident to give your opinion, to take part in debates, and gradually to focus more on the um, you know, current affairs of the countries, what's happening in France, in Italy, in Spain, in Latin America, um, you know, wherever the languages are spoken. And then really uh, at low advanced and advanced conversation, we start to work more on uh, press reviews, on working um, on, on a, a piece of literature, on films, on what makes really interesting to learn a language by focusing on culture as well as current affairs. And finally, if you're uh, a fluent speaker and you wish to improve your grammar. We have an advanced grammar, but that's only available in French. Uh, now, obviously, uh, this chart is available uh, on our website, and this record, this open, uh, this virtual open day will be available at some stage on, on site as well. Um, now, if you're still hesitant about the level you should choose, and I, and I fully uh, understand because it's not really easy uh, to decide what course should be the best for you. Um, you can get a placement test from us. So it's a sort of multiple choice questionnaire, which enables you to test your current level of the language. And um, depending on the score you get, you're being recommended a particular level. And that placement test you can get by emailing the college. And I will repeat several times the email address and I'll leave it available on screen 
for you to note it down. So email address is info at rhacc.ac.uk. And basically, uh, this is the email address to get your placement test. Um, now, once you've done the placement test, and I fully understand again, particularly when we refer to conversation classes, if you want a bit more information, you're welcome to contact me directly. So this is my email address at work, philippe.labbe at rhacc.ac.uk. Now, I'll be able to uh, assess your spoken French or Spanish, and I can also refer you to our Italian specialist, to our Greek teacher, to the Russian teacher and the German teachers. We will be contacting you directly to assess your level. This is really only if once you've looked at the um, level chart and once you've done your placement test, if you still don't know what to choose, this is where, where we can help uh, further. Um, now, Obviously, you may wonder what's going to happen in September, given our current context. Uh, basically, until further notice, and this is actually mentioned on our website, all our language courses will be taught online. And um, this will be until further notice. We hope to resume face-to-face -face teaching at some stage in the autumn term whether it's before the half-term break or after, we can't tell you right now, but we'll, be, we'll keep you informed via our website. Um, now, what's interesting is in languages, really, when interaction is so important for learning, if you learn a language, it's to be able to speak it and to interact with, your, uh, with the other learners and the teacher in the class. So what we decided to do for, for modern languages um, until we get back face to face. And this, is, this could be till February, because really the, um, what we're offering at the moment is the online course. So we will cap our courses to 12 students for all multi language courses. And this means that even if let's say in October, you return face to face, we will not allow more students to join, particularly at uh, beginner's level. But we will cap the, the course at 12, and if you're planning to do British Sign Language, we'll have a maximum of 10 students. But really in British Sign Language, it's all visual. Therefore, it's so important for the tutor to have all the students present in front of her. She can see them all on the screen and she can help them. Um, teachers will be using either Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Obviously, uh, Zoom is the um, tool I'm using today. We have some tutors have been using Microsoft Teams as well. You might have used it for work or in other contexts. But whatever tool we use in September, once you've enrolled, you will be contacted by your teacher prior to the course start date. And he or she will be explaining to you how to access the course online. Very much like, a lot, like what we did today. Okay. Um, now, we more or less uh, coming to the, to the end of my presentation in terms of levels, uh, how we're going to deliver the course. Um, this is something we want to remind you. Obviously, the college for the time being is closed, but you can enroll online or by phone. So I'm going to leave that screen again on for a little bit of time for you to read. So you can book your place on a course at online or by phone while the college is closed. Um, in terms of paying the fees, you can pay the full fee or apply for fee reduction. So to be able to do that, you need to go to enroll now on our website. Okay, and there'll be uh, different options available to you. Or you can enroll by phone. So to enroll and pay full fee, you can call uh, 0208 891 5907. I repeat 0208 891 5907. If you need help with your fees, we offer a range of discounts, concessions, and bursaries, although you should be aware that uh, all the online courses 
I've already got a 15% discount on the standard fees face to face. Okay. So this, there's the link there, which is www.rhscc.ac.uk forward slash help with your fees. Um, in the meantime, if you wish to stay in touch, keep up to date with all the information on courses, events, and more, you can join our mailing list. So the email is marketing at rhacc.ac.uk. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So I'll leave the screen on for a few more seconds for you, should you wish to note down the phone number or any other option you might be interested in. Now, obviously, uh, I'll be available later on to take uh, any questions you may have. So thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I hope you've been able, I've been able to give you um, most of the answers you were expecting. Um, and basically, um, you know, don't hesitate to use the chat room for a few more minutes. We'll be online to answer further questions. Otherwise, you can email me at my uh, Iraq email address, which will be um, on that video, which you'll also be able to watch again because we're going to put it on the website. Thank you very much.